Just a little bit of background on myself. I started at Cornell in the middle of August this year, and I came here from the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California, where I was a distinguished professor of systems engineering. I had a career in the Navy, <clears throat> the U.S. Navy, as a uh, submarine warfare officer. And once I completed my tour of duty on a submarine out at sea, I transferred to become an engineer and worked on engineering of mostly submarine systems, but also other kind of advanced systems as my career went on. I then went from there to MIT, where I, I taught in the ocean engineering department and later in the system design and management program, where I taught courses on systems architecting and product design and development for several years before taking a job as a professor at the University of New Orleans, where I taught naval architecture and engineering management uh, there before going to the Naval Postgraduate School and then to Cornell. Right now, I'm the editor-in-chief of the journal Systems Engineering, which is an international journal on the topic of systems engineering. I have been working for over 10 years on the development of an ICOSI, System Engineering COMSI Framework and Assessment Guide. We published the framework in 2018. The first framework, we're set to publish a new version as a book published by Wiley, the System Engineering COMSI Assessment Guide in January of 2023. This competency assessment guide is meant to be something that can be used by all systems engineers internationally to be able to identify in organizations what kinds of competencies do system engineers need and at what level do they need that competency to be proficient at everything from when they're first hired to all the way to being an expert in systems engineering. These kind of models, again, are things that are become very useful to industry and in that they're, they're very specific in the description of what the competency is, why does it matter to people who would be looking at having people work in this area, how proficient do people have to be in working in these different areas and what kind of knowledge, skills, abilities, and behaviors do they have to have to be effective systems engineers. And this competency assessment guide is going to publish this in a book form with all these tables so it can be used as a reference for different companies and organizations in looking at creating system engineering jobs and hiring systems engineers. And so I'm going to go again very briefly over some work I've done on developing competencies and competency frameworks. A motivation for developing systems engineering competencies is that they had not been studied before. So there was this idea of there was no basis for understanding what system engineers were actually doing and how could we look at improving how they were doing things if we didn't have a really fundamental understanding of what it is that they were doing in this context. So we created or funded to be able to do a study of Department of Defense systems engineers, and we surveyed uh, 7,400 engineers, got 1,183 responses, and so therefore we were able to create a final model that we thought was verified with what was going on in a particular community of systems engineers, and created a competency model that covers aspects related to what kind of competencies, meaning what do people need to know in different areas in order to be effective systems engineers. So we came up with 44 different competencies and 179 specific tasks that systems engineers need to be able to accomplish to do their job effectively. One last area I'm kind of interested in as well is looking at structuring competencies, not around traditional areas of looking at how can you do system architecting, let's say, or how can you do you know, oral communications, but gathering competencies in clusters around doing particular activities. And, you know, these medical association has looked at defining competencies in clusters around things that are, you know, sort of very important to doctors, like doing things like how can a doctor gather history and perform a physical examination and turning that into the context of all the competencies to create a list of entrustable professional activities that define you as a doctor and what kind of competencies do you need across different areas to be able to accomplish those things? So I'd like to see about developing these kind of things for systems engineers that would group them into areas that are things that system engineers need to be able to do that are very important um, on the job.